Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Rebirth. Um, so, since the last video, I decided to give the uh, Nelve or Nelveska Temple another try. Um, and I have fitted out Beowulf to be our item grabber. Uh, the reason why I made him into an archer is so that he could get the necessary jump stat um, in order to be able to leap up there and grab the item. Of course, I have the spike shoes equipped on him as I had equipped on Lavian uh, in the previous battle. And uh, as far as his abilities go, uh, you'll see that he has move find item equipped. And the way I was able to get that skill was to do a random encounter. Um, and in that encounter, I was able to poach one of our Udi bowls, uh, and that gave us, uh, let's see if we can find it here, the, uh, Nagarok, 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 yes. Uh, so it is a, uh, sword with an attack power of one. Um, a, an evade of 50% and the chance to add frog. Uh, so, is it a good sword? Maybe. Uh, I can see if you're using two swords, this could be viable. Uh, just go up and turn you guy, enemies into a frog. Um, not maybe the greatest, though. Uh, so the other items I was able to find from our various pouches, uh, or the Zorlin shape, uh, which is fairly nice. Uh, it gives you attack power of 10, evade of 10%, uh, speed plus one, and sleep on hit. Not bad. I also got the Whale Whisker, um, and that has an attack power of 16, so it is really quite good um, as far as Oracle weapons go. And of course, uh, we do have the Excalibur and Defender and so on and so on. Um, I also got another Blaze Gun, so we have two of them now if we ever wanted to use that, although I don't see why we would. Um, and I don't know, I think that's pretty much all we grab from our uh, poaching efforts. Oh, I also got a another Elixir, and um, I got another... Uh, is it, uh, Cherish. So I now have two of these. Uh, give you Float and Reflect. So, um, as far as the party I'm going to use, I will bring Ramza. I, of course, will bring, uh, Worker 8. And, uh, we have to bring Beowulf. Uh, he has the Spike Shoes equipped in order to be able to jump. And what that means is he can't equip an Angel Ring. But I will be bringing Rad so that I can revive him if I need to. And Rad will have an Angel Ring equipped, as will Ramza. Um, and uh, Agrius, I am going to give the uh, Setiamson. Or sorry, not that one. I want to use the perfume that I had equipped on our, I actually it's probably still on our summoner here. Oh, uh, oh no wait, it was the angel ring. Yeah, I, I need to give her an angel ring. That's what I'm gonna do. I mean, hopefully she doesn't die, but uh, yeah, I feel that having the angel ring is more important than having the uh, bracer here. Uh, so the reason why we were able to uh, tank so hard with Agrius in the previous battle uh, was because we had the Defender as well as the Crystal Shield. So we get a 45% physical evade from Crystal Shield and 60% from Defender. So I don't know if that means that we are actually like impossible to hit um, if as long as we aren't attacked from behind, but I hope that's what it means. Uh, but just in case, uh, I'm going to give her the Angel Ring so she gets the re-raise effect. Uh, so then my party will be Ramza, Beowulf, uh, Lavian. Actually, you know what? Maybe I don't want Lavian. She may be somewhat... If she could poach, it would be pretty nice in this battle. Because uh, there are some interesting enemies to poach from. So what I'm going to do... 
or sorry, not the, uh, I don't want to change the angel ring, but I do want to change her skills. Uh, she doesn't need move find item anymore. Uh, so what I will give her is, uh, rather... Fly. Move plus two. You can see either one being useful, but I will give her a fly. Um, and hopefully she will be able to poach something. So I'm going to bring her along. Uh, oh yes, I also need to give her back steel, which could be very useful if I was able to steal hard on one of the enemies. And just make sure she has her angel ring. Yes. Um, okay, so right. Ramza, Beowulf, Lavian, Rad. Oh, that's not going to work. Ramza, Beowulf, Rad, Agrius. It has to be. I can't bring her along because um, I also need to bring Worker 8 for the beats. For the beat down. Okay. That's fine. I mean, it would be nice to have her along, but uh, Beowulf is our item mule because of that low brave. I actually did use um, uh, Ramza's threaten skill uh, in order to lower Beowulf's brave in the previous battle uh, so that we have an even better chance of grabbing that item, the uh, Etchushian, I believe it is. Alright, uh, so let us hurry along to Nelveska Temple. Yes, I did save. Okay, let's go. Alright, so as per last time, I do need to put my characters at the back, especially um, Agrius. And then I want to have Worker great in the middle, uh, and I need to have Beowulf here. Actually, you know what, I'm going to switch Agrius over there and put Rad here so that he's able to use a Phoenix down on Beowulf. Um, as soon as possible, because Beowulf doesn't have an angel ring and is probably going to get killed in the first round by those damn birds. So our party is ready. Here we go. So here we go again. This is attempt number three. goes down. No surprise there. And uh, here come the birds. I expect them to kill a wolf, but uh, perhaps they'll surprise me. Now, I believe I equipped an angel ring on Rad, but I may be mistaken, in which case we may have to do another attempt on this mission. Uh, oh no, yeah, he's got one. Okay, he's coming back. Good. And uh, thank you to the people in the, th uh, the thread who 
su suggested using angel rings on my characters. Uh, kind of had thought of that, but uh, only after doing this mission. Oh, nice. So, yeah, hopefully that 100% uh, dodge chance is a real thing. So, here we go. Uh, we've got Recur 8. And I believe we are going to kill one of these damn birds. That'll do it. Eat it, bird. Alright. Uh, let's just hope it's the good one. I believe that is not the good one. Am I correct about that? I don't really know. Physical 20%, magic 5%. That doesn't sound very good. Let's compare it to some other shields here. Crystal shield. 45, 15. Yeah, this seems like it's garbage. Uh, so... What does this mean? Does it mean I need to further lower Beowulf's uh, rave before attempting this? Or can I just re-roll, so to speak? Can I just restart the battle and try again? Well, I'm going to give it one more try. Uh, and if we do get the same uh, Escuchian, uh, then I will just accept that, uh, finish the battle, and carry on with the game because I don't care that much about it. You know, it's it's nice to have, but uh, not not that important, in my opinion. Just double check my characters. Got the angel rings. Yes. I uh, got the spike shoes. Move we'll find item. Agrius is kitted out. Good stuff. So uh, let's try again. Uh, that seemed to be a fairly good arrangement we had going on there. So we will do the same thing again. I really hope we get the good uh, Etsushian, Etsushian this time. I suppose that must be some kind of Latin name for a shield. I have really no idea where that word comes from. I've seen it in very, uh, I've seen it very frequently in Final Fantasy games, though. At least after Final Fantasy Tactics, so I, I assume it is a historical reference to a real uh, shield type. Again. 
Uh, interestingly, Worker 7 had a lower uh, expected damage, or uh, actual damage, on that hit than he did in the previous battle, which suggests that uh, maybe this is randomized to some extent. So Beowulf isn't quite dead. Uh, he may survive. I doubt he will. No, he's probably dead now. He's dead. Damn birds. Uh, at least Rad is still alive, so we will be able to bring him back. I think he's going to survive this. Yes. Too bad he couldn't get a uh, counter flood on those enemies. But, uh... Let's tag him from the front. Oh, he's dead. Damn it. Agrius is probably fine. Yep. A defender. Too good. Too strong. So, uh, let us kill one of the birds again. Let's uh, compress. That is not enough damage, so we will have to opt for... Actually, we may be able to kill this bird. Yes, better compatibility. Good. Keep working, worker eight. Uh, okay, we are going to... Do not actually... We to move here here, make sure our back is to Beowulf, then Phoenix down, alright, uh, we now need to do something in a hurry, I see, uh, 35, 7, Be really nice to have one of these, but it would also be nice to have one of these. Let's go for this one. It's a better chance. Uh, he's gonna wreck shit. Yes! Yes! Okay. Hopefully he wrecks shit for us. Uh, so, we are now going to use an X potion on um, Beowulf to improve his chances of survival. In, tr uh, in reality, or in truth, I think that uh, Rad is more important to us here than Beowulf as far as the progress of the battle goes. However, okay, so this is really bad. Um, however, we do, we do have a commitment to uh, actually getting this bloody item. Uh, okay, that didn't work out for us. We have two characters with the capacity to revive, uh, so hopefully they will make use of that. If Ramses survives, I'm just going to keep trying to invite enemies. He's probably dead. Yep. And that uh, Hydra is also dead. Now, if they kill Rad, this battle is over. Okay, I'm still in it. That is garbage. That is such bullshit. Such bullshit. Okay, uh, we need to bring Beowulf back again. Oh dear, okay. Uh, Worker 7 is gonna kill Rad. Oh, he's gonna kill our bird. That's fine. So this battle is over, effectively, but I do want to see if we can grab the item before we die. See if we get the better institution. Okay, uh, let's act. Quick 
change. So this is the superior uh, institution we got this time. Uh, we can't use our Phoenix Stone effectively here. Even if we I use a high potion on ourselves, I don't think it's going to change the course of the battle. Too bad. Um, you know what? We're just going to equip this uh, quote-unquote ultimate shield and see if it will let us survive one round. I believe it will not. That's right. So, uh, what did we learn? We learned that we can get the good shield, uh, but we also learned that our chances of succeeding while doing so are not so good. Ever all this just for a bloody shield, eh? Now our characters are set up properly, and let's go do this again. Alright, alright, Jesus, come through for me. And uh, just so you know, I am certainly not going to be doing this kind of thing for the Deep Dungeon. Um, it is way beyond my uh, frustration tolerance to uh, save scum for every level of the dungeon so as to get uh, the best item possibilities uh, to get the best uh, collection of items out of the dungeon. So really my interest in going to the deep dungeon is getting uh, Zodiac and uh, showing you guys the dungeon. Uh, doing the challenge missions, you know, like, or experiencing the challenge of uh, the modified dungeon. So actually, Worker 7 is not going to kill Ramza this time. He must have really bad compatibility this time around. Um, and uh, aside from that, you know, maybe get getting the uh, occasional good item, but I'm not too concerned about the items. Uh, I will, of course, be using a guide to uh, find out where the items are, so we can give it at least have a try at it. But um, not too concerned about getting the best possible outcome of the dungeon. And I believe you uh, may be able to recruit the. Is it you can recruit the final boss of the dungeon, or recruit one of his minions, or something to that effect? Uh, it's something I've never done before, but I noticed was mentioned in one of the guides uh, to the deep dungeon that I saw online. So I'm, I'm interested in that possibility. So we've noticed uh, that Agrius did take damage there, which means that her evade chance is not 100%. Uh, so I'm sure one of you in the thread will fill me in on... Uh, just how that works if your evade chance is over 100% when your uh, your weapon guard and your shield chances are combined. And how that actually works out to not giving you um, a 100% chance to block. Stuff goes up here, and we get 
The crap one! Yay! Uh, so, yeah, that is confirmed to be garbage, I believe. Yes, it is the garbage item, and you know what? I do not care. I care enough to not do this again. So, uh, assuming that we successfully complete this mission, uh, perhaps you will feel as though you've wasted your time watching this video. I apologize for that, but uh, I have my limits uh, as to my patience with this kind of RNG BS. Um, I believe I will be hitting worker. Uh, maybe worth hitting this enemy here. Yes, let's do that. So we have no one to bring back to life. Uh, so that means we can use a holy shield, or, or sorry, a holy sword, uh, and. Holy Explosion would be a solid choice here. Fortunately, Fusion didn't trigger there. Alright, uh, let us try to invite this Hydra. Reasonable chance. Nope. No dice. Alright, uh, Rad is back to life. I believe he should just uh, go and try to kill something. It's not enough damage to kill it, but uh, we'll give it a try. Oh, it's a slow. That's not the worst possible outcome. So, Agrius is dead. Unfortunately, she does have re-raise. Uh, so now this becomes a question of whether we can uh, kill Worker 7. And uh, the determining factor there is whether Worker 8 can get close enough to Worker 7 in order to be able to uh, get the kill. this moment, he does not have uh, enough range to do that. Sorry, uh, we need to use Dispose. It's not enough damage to kill. Uh, we will go after this guy, I guess. Agris is back from the dead. Another holy explosion. Good stuff. Uh, move up here. Uh, so she has the chance to uh, maybe kill him after he comes back to life. Damn it. Should have uh, instead. I should have um, gone after one of those birds. It was my mistake. I wasn't thinking straight there. It's a fairly obvious mistake, too. And uh, Worker 8 is dead. Uh, Agrius does have Phoenix down, so she could possibly bring him back, but I think we're screwed because uh, she doesn't have enough movement range to be able to do so. Having not completed this mission, I feel almost compelled to um... Oh, hello.
that we may be able to pull this one out. But I think we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. So, how do I feel? Do I want to give it one more try? Okay, here's the deal. I am going to try to do it. Uh, if we get the crap shield, I will simply quit. Um, because, you know, we still have the save uh, that from our previous uh, attempt where we actually completed this mission. And uh, the whatever, one level with Beowulf or whatever we gained, uh, and the, f the smattering of items we gained. Having an extra elixir, I appreciate, but I don't care that much about it. So let's just uh, see what we get here. If we get the good shield, I will honestly try to win. So I think now that I, now that I think about it, um, I believe the best option here is to actually uh, put worker eight in the center as opposed to offset to the side because it increases your chances of being able to reach uh, worker seven. So kill Beowulf uh, probably seals the deal. We're probably screwed here, uh, but I'll do what I can. If I could just shoot uh, Worker 7 with Ramza, I may be able to kill uh, him with Worker 8. We'll see how it goes. Wow! Oh, 5% chance to dodge, and he did it. Well done. It was an epic save. Epic, epic save. For a moment I thought he actually pulled off the Petrify, that would have been so huge. take an aggressive approach this time and hopefully that will pay off for me all right Beowulf you slow bastard get to work
What? Why? What are you- What? What is this crap? What is this bullshit? Oh, I see. He can't take... Elemental damage? But then the- Oh, come on! Bullshit. That's what I have to say about that. Alright. Whatever. Uh, I guess check who's first in the turn order here. Isa, Flashbill, Kirk. Flash Bill Kirkness. Okay, we take out uh, Flash Bill, I guess. Die! Uh, what's the best choice here? Potion. I don't think it'll make a difference. Elixir? I think maybe Elixir is the way to go. That hurts. It hurts inside. And I'm going to move here. Uh, nope, not maybe... Yes, here. So as to prevent uh, the Hydra from being able to triple hit my characters. Man, that is one hell of a slap. Slow bastard! Get your damn turn! Okay, the elixir was the right move there, I think. Or are we just screwed anyway? Yep! Okay! I think this is the end. Oh. So we're gonna survive long enough for the enemies to continue to, uh... Torment me with their bullshit. Hey Beowulf, how about getting a turn? How would that be? Would that, would that be alright? Would you be okay with that? Or, uh, are, are you just gonna continue to be a useless sack of shit? Alright, uh... Let's try something different. Okay, good, good. I like that. Uh, now, you, attack. Attack Worker 7. Kill. Now. Uh, it's not enough damage. Could do enough damage, but I feel like the better move here is to bring back Worker 8. Yes, that is good, that is good, that is good. No, the goddamn bird! Okay. Okay, we can we can do that. We can do that. That's alright. You just stay in the corner, hide there, and don't ever come back. 
Oh, you. Okay. He's gonna kill Ramza. Our dude is gonna do something. Whatever, that's fine. And we got the garbage one. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that episode of uh, frustration and misery. And, uh, uh, well, not really much more to say about it than that, uh, is there? Um, so uh, I guess you can see why I'm generally reluctant to save scum for items uh, in these kind of situations. And, um, I will be continuing with the game in the next video, uh, because, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't see any reason to continue with this, uh, futile nonsense. So, um, yeah, uh, no hard feelings, but I'm going to move on.